guys, it's LVS Honey, and today I have the biggest Surveillance Family unboxing probably ever done by an LVS tuber. I don't know. I'm not going to 100% say that's true because I don't know. But let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here's our first set, and... Um, there's the rest of them. So yeah, this first set I got is kind of like baby furniture, kind of like a baby's room. You get all these pieces here. I mainly wanted it for the crib, but it's pretty cool to get all this stuff as well. Surveillance Family Furniture is super cheap from Japan, so I actually managed to pick up this whole set for only $14, which was so good. Next up is this picnic table set. You get the picnic table, the little fishing pole, all the food and everything like that. I thought it would be cool to just have like a little table where my LPS can sit in different series and, you know, short films. So I picked this one up. Next up we got more baby furniture. I got this baby little playground. I'm hoping that I can fit my regular LPS on here though because it would be pretty cool. And you can actually make the playground however you want. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Also, sorry if my voice sounds croaky. It's early in the morning so... <laughs> Um, next up, I got this one, and this is one of like the bigger sets, I guess, and it is the Chocolate Lounge. So you get a chair, a little, well like sofa, I should say, a little counter, table, a bunch of chocolates and macarons. It's really, really awesome, and it goes with like the little Surveillance Family Town set which is really cool. And speaking of the Surveillance Family Town set, I also got two of these Surveillance Family light up street lamps. So they're actually working. They actually turn on, which is amazing. If it'll focus, there we go. Which is so cool. And they include the batteries already. So these are just gonna be amazing. I really wanted to get like at least four, but they only had two in stock, so Hopefully I can get some more in the future, considering they were pretty cheap online. Next up, we got some more baby furniture. So this is kind of like a baby toy set. And again, I kind of just bought this for one item, and that was this little high chair. I think it's going to be so cute for LPS, so I hope they can fit in there. And then it comes with some really cute accessories as well. And then lucky last, I got a triple bunk bed. What would you call like a triple bunk bed? Is it a, a trunk bed? I don't know, but it's three beds that can be stacked on top of each other. It comes with all like the little blankets and everything, and you don't actually have to stack them. You can put them side by side or however you want, which is so cool. So, now that we've had a look at everything, let's get opening. I'm going to start with the smaller sets and work my way up to the bigger ones. Woo! You're really going to fly a helicopter over my house right at this moment? Like, oh my god. So we're going to start off with the street lamps. Um, my filming space is so tiny, it's just hard for me to film anything. So I'm going to move you out of the way and we're going to cut this one open. Okay, I cut it open because it was too hard to show it on screen. So it should just like... Well, okay, I'll just rip it. That's fine as well. Um, okay, I almost completely ripped this off. So let's just get rid of that. Um, uh, pull that off. Oh, there's our lamp. I just hit my microphone. This is a disaster. Somebody shoot me. Anyway, here's our lamp as I struggle to try and get it all in frame. Um, so how do you open this? Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da so I'm assuming you just pull this out. Yep. And then... It looks like it has two settings, on one and on two. So we'll try on one. <gasps> oh, can you see that? It's glowing. That's so cool. That's going to be really awesome when I have like darker scenes. And option two. Are they like flickering maybe? Yeah, I think they're like flickering a bit, which is also really cool. That's awesome. And then in the middle is off. Oh my gosh, I love it. So size comparison to a pet, it's pretty large, but like aren't all lamp posts. Like compare a lamp post to a person, they're pretty big. So I think this is a pretty good size. I mean, you can definitely use it for videos and you can have like a singing in the rain moment. <gasps> That'd be so cute. 
Okay, moving on, let's open up our little picnic table. So if you keep up with releases of Surveillance Family, the Town series is the most recent release. So this picnic table set is a bit old now, but it only cost me $5, which we love a good bargain. So I'm really excited to see how big the table is and there is just stuff falling out already. Oh my gosh, <laughs> let's just tip everything out. Did I get it? No, there's a fishing pole. ta -da! So this is about the size of the benches. It seems pretty good for LPS. And then we have the table, also a pretty good size. It has a like area missing here because you meant to put this little grill in the middle, but I'm sure you could probably flip it over and just have like silver. I don't know, I'll have to see if it fits or not. Okay, so here's some size comparisons and it actually fits really well. You can fit about two LPS, maybe even more per seat. And like height wise, it's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, with the table, it has this spot for the grill. And if you want to like flip it around, it has to have like a bit sticking up. So I'd probably just leave it the way it is. I mean, it doesn't really like cause any troubles with filming but if it's something that annoys you you might want to get a different table as for accessories it comes with all this food which i'm not going to take out right now because it's so tiny and it's going to get everywhere but there's mushrooms what looks like mango i don't know or like rock melon we also have corn fish some little spatula tongue things and then this here is like an abomination on the world it's like a hot dog but it has no sauce and just a piece of lettuce like what? We also got lots of plates, a bucket, and then a little stick which actually has string on the end and a little fish attached so you can unwind it and go fishing which is actually pretty cool. So I really like this set. I mainly got it for the table which I really like and I'm probably going to use in future videos. So on to the next set which is the triple bunk bed. So let's open this up. I'm actually really excited to see these. I just hope they're big enough for regular size pets so it looks like this is all the blankets and like bedding and little ladders <laughs> and then in here is the beds so as you can see they definitely have more of a baby feel i guess you got a little chick a flower and a fish and the way they stack together is they just click on the top of the little like ends of the beds i can't remember what they're called but we have a little blue one a pink one and a yellow one so here's the three beds i really love the colors like i said it has a baby feel but you could definitely get away with it for a regular lps and the one thing i don't like about it though is the blankets are a tiny bit too wide for the bed so you kind of have to tuck them in but then they wrinkle all up and it's just a bit annoying so i probably won't use the blankets that came with them but yeah they're just really cool and if you want to have a bunk bed or even a triple bed, the little ladders that come with it just hook onto the side of the bed so it's really easy to assemble them. As for a size comparison, you can definitely fit a whole LPS in there. It is a little on the squishy side, but I don't really mind and I'm probably just going to be using it for regular LPS anyway. Okay, moving on to the next set, we have the little playground. It probably looks really suspicious that I'm buying all baby surveillance family furniture. Um, but trust me, I have a plan. I'm not just buying random baby furniture for no reason. So let's get this all out and oh, there's another piece. So it does have some little instructions here, just kind of showing you how to click the door on and off, which is always handy to know. So here's the main climbing frame piece. It's all just clicked together, one solid piece. And then you also get this extra little block, which you can attach to any side. You also get a really cute little slide, which just kind of clicks on the top. An adorable little door and just some little like extra pieces that you can place wherever you want. So there is my little playground, guys. It's so cute. And I'm not going to be using this for regular LPS. This is going to be used for baby LPS because it's a playground, it only makes sense. But I really love how when you attach these, they still open and close, like there's a little door, and these little hatches open and close as well. And the slide can just be like super easily pulled off and put anywhere you want. So it's so awesome and so adorable. I mean, you can still use regular LBS on it if you want. It's a bit too big for like the doors and stuff, but you know, 
can go down the slide. And I just quickly went and got a baby LPS. So here it is compared to the playground. As you can see, a much better fit for the slide. And of course, the little door on the side. It's just like a perfect little tiny baby household. Oh my gosh. Go in there. Go in there, I said. Ugh. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next set. Alrighty, next up, you guessed it, we got more baby furniture. <laughs> Trust me guys, I'm definitely going to be using all this stuff. I didn't just buy it because it's adorable. Let's get it open and see what we got. So we have some instructions. It just looks like showing you how to put the stickers on, which is easy. And oh my gosh, <laughs> they fit a lot of stuff in these tiny boxes. <laughs> uh, come on. Wow, you're, you're really just gonna make me pull everything out by hand. Okay. Alrighty, so inside we have a little baby high chair, which I love. And yes, mini LPS can fit inside. It's amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh. We also have a teeny weeny little baby kitchen. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like I could build a whole house for my mini LPS at this point. Like, this stuff is perfect for them. We also have a rocking horse. And for some reason, this is, like, really big compared to everything else. Like, even compared to the high chair. It's, like, super big. I understand why you have to make it so big. So, you know. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I understand why they made it so big so the surveillance family babies could fit on it, but still, I feel like it's a bit overkill compared to the high chair. But anyway, moving on from that, we have a little piano, which doesn't have the keys on it yet because it's a sticker I have to put on, a toy bus, and a little bear, which is so cute. Like, look at those chubby little arms. Oh my gosh. And this thing, which I thought was a lamp that was missing the top of it, but then I realized it comes with a bunch of little accessories and it's made for ring tossing. So yeah, that's pretty cute. <gasps> I just realized it comes with a sippy cup. Oh my gosh. Oh, and a little fake food. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's too cute. Anyway, here's what the stickers look like on. We have a little flower sticker for the kitchen. This super pastel pink spotty sticker for the high chair. And then lastly, tiny keys for a tiny piano. Next up, we got the chocolate shop. Or chocolate lounge, I should say. This was probably one of the sets I was super excited for just because I love how the furniture looks. Honestly surprised they were able to fit all the stuff in this tiny little box. So, the instructions here, just talking about putting a tray in, which is super simple. So, oh my gosh, there is a lot of goodies in here. Tip out the little macarons, slide out the furniture, oh my gosh. So here's a little fun tip. When you have accessories like this that are held in with plastic, especially metallic ones, it's best not to try and twist them out with your hands because they can snap pretty easily. Instead, you should use little, like, plier things like this you can pick them up at craft stores and they make getting accessories like this out so much easier you just line it up and snip and snip oh my gosh you guys i swear my lps are living the dream life right now like this furniture looks so good here is a pet for size comparison it's actually pretty good size for the coffee table and of course the luxury sofa. It's a pretty good size for the chocolate display at the front, but the counters are a bit too big. But can we take a moment to just appreciate how good these chocolates and macarons look? Like they literally have a little chocolate building. Hello? What? It's beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but I think the chocolate set has been my favorite so far. There's just so much detail and it is so gorgeous. And for such a cheap price as well. This only costs $9 for all this. Like, yes! So, I believe we only have one set left. So here it is. I don't know why the box is so big. Probably because you get multiple furniture pieces. I don't really know. And you can see my reflection. Hello. But yeah, I'm really excited to open it. So I'm going to take it all out of the box off screen. Because it's going to get messy. And we'll take a closer look. So here's the larger furniture out of the box. You get a little slide with some stairs, which is pretty cute. You also get this mat, which I probably won't use for anything just because there's so much going on. You get another high chair, but honestly, it looks more like a car seat to me. So yeah, I'll probably use this as a car seat or something. And it came with those little accessories as well. You also get the cart, which was the main reason I got this. It comes with a little bedding inside, and I love this. The side actually folds down. Like, how cute is that? So the pet can get in and out. Eh, eh. There we go. And 
And then you also get a little wardrobe here. And it actually came with some little surveillance family clothes. Unfortunately, these don't fit LPS, but they're still really cute. And you can open up every single drawer. And even the one below. It also came with a bunch of smaller accessories like some toys, a teddy bear, a little like folded up blanket, a book. And then it also came with like a little attachment for the cart. I can't remember what it's called but it's one of those things that like dangle over the cart and put the baby to sleep. So that's pretty cute and you just have to assemble it and click it onto the side. Huh, <sighs> and that concludes all the surveillance family furniture I bought. There was so much you guys oh my goodness a lot of pastel which i love and that chocolate shop or chocolate lounge is just so good looking oh my goodness and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i highly recommend surveillance families or calico critters as they're known in the u.s to anyone they are just such amazing cheap accessories to use for your lps videos and they're so realistic which is what i absolutely love about them i really hope i can get some more in the future and maybe even build up my own little surveillance family's empire <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like always don't forget to like comment and of course subscribe and i will see you later bye guys